quick Fusion 360 tutorial to show you how to take STL files from whatever file sharing site or source that you get them and remix them to be able to make them what you want them to be. I think we're gonna make more videos on this topic in the future, but this is just a start point to show you how to get those files into Fusion 360 so that you can then use parametric modeling on them to modify them and make them exactly what you want. Let's get after it. I'm working on building a multi-board right here behind me. And uh, so we're gonna start at multiboard.io. And here on their website, you can see these parts uh, here. Let's jump into resources, parts library. The way the multi-board works really quick is you have your tiles, uh, then you have mounting systems that hold them in place, right? So for where four tiles come together, you have a quad where only two tiles are coming together on an edge, like this is an edge, um, you end up with only this. And in a corner, you just need a single. So double, single, quad. All right, and that's how those are used. The part Bs are the parts that come from the front and snap in place. It's recommended that you print it with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I was printing it with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle because it occurs much, much faster. <laughs> um, and it really helps when you're doing big prints like that. It shaves off hours of time if you use a larger nozzle. One of the issues that I was having was this uh, detail in the front of the part doesn't... I didn't like the way that it looked with my 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which is not recommended. So that's why I want to remove that groove. So if you click on view, it takes you to the, uh, the Thangs website. Uh, and I'm talking about this groove right here. Uh, there's a way to in Thangs to look at this. So um, this groove right here. So I'm going to show you how you could remove that, which leads into a whole lot of other remixes. And uh, we'll probably do some more videos on other remix techniques used in Fusion for different parts. So I've already downloaded it. We're going to uh, insert mesh. I'm going to use the standard. All right, and here we are with the insert tool. Um, we want to make sure that it is moved to ground and centered. And we're going to just look at the placement of this. I like where that is. You can you can grab this and and move it if you want. Um, but I do like the positioning. For this particular part, that makes the most sense. For a different part, you may want to move it so that the origin is at a different place. So um, that's uh, placing this part. So we can move to ground. Okay. We're going to jump over to mesh and we're going to generate face groups from our part. This is our part. It's been selected. We're going to use fast. These settings are fine for the application that we're doing. So, okay. Now we have face groups. All right, so there's multiple ways of doing this. I'll uh, start by showing you this one. Um, convert mesh. So we'll select our part against parametric. You can't select prismatic without upgrading. So everybody used to use it, so they decided to make it an upgrade. All right, so body selected. Okay, just gonna think about it. All right. Now we have a whole bunch of triangles because that's what that tool does. So now we can go in and select a triangle and hit delete the delete key on the keyboard. Um, we've made that less complex. There's less triangles involved. Okay. And we're going to go here and do the same. So now there's less parts. So I'm panning. This is pressing down the middle mouse button or scroll wheel on my mouse. That allows me to pan and then scroll wheel in and out. So this is the one that we started working on. Uh, I'm going to use this, um, just grabbing the little cube up here. That's another way to move around. So using the inside feature, you can do this by just selecting it selecting it and hitting delete. You need to think about it because it's processing processing the geometry and you see it's made a change. So we're going to delete that face as well. The groove is gone. 
Okay. Uh, another way of doing that, since this is a parametric model now, you can then use parametric modeling tools on it. And you can, you know, make your groove go up or you can make your groove less thick. All of these are options. We're going to change to object, select the face of the object, use join. And that's another way that you can remove the groove. So there's two ways of doing this. Select, I'm going to hit the delete button, delete. Just going to think about it for a while. There you go. It, uh, and by the way, if you make a choice that doesn't work out, uh, control Z to undo it. So if I select here and, uh, well, that one worked. Um, let's see if I can give you an example of what not to do. Let's uh, pick an interface, hit delete. Okay, so we, that's not what we intended to do. That that turned out badly for us, right? So it's uh, put a groove where we don't want. So control Z undid that. So now we're going to zoom in so we can select the face, select the face, hit delete. It's going to think about it, back out, select this. We want the face, not the edge. Hit delete. There we go. So now we have this part without any grooves. It worked out well. We like it. All right. Uh, incidentally, you can uh, roll back like so. This is your generating your face groups. Uh, and then this is turning it into a parametric part. Okay. So now this thing has no grooves. Um, we're going to grab the bodies. We're going to save as mesh. Okay. Uh, standard, no groove. Save. Being that it's parametric, you can now uh, add whatever you want. So you could do something like this. There's multiple ways of doing this as well, but this is one way. Um, so you did that and then you grabbed him and wanted to cut that out. Okay. You could cut out a piece of your model and then stitch in other new designs to your model. So you can always modify, uh, once you get into parametric, it's very easy to make those additional modifications. And then being that it's fusion, that timeline is preserved. So you can roll back uh, and delete those. So you can try something. If it doesn't work out the way that you want it, you can get rid of it. So, Super quick tutorial, I hope it helps. This is harder than it looks. Quick Fusion 360 file of how you get them into Fusion 360. I don't know why I stopped it.